My name is Roisin Byrne. I'm a Walsh Fellow PhD student based here in Oak Park in Carlow. And my project is looking at establishment methods for oil seed rape. Oil seed rape is sown at a, a particularly busy time of year, so we want to look at the best ways to uh, establish that at a faster pace and maybe lower costs if that's possible. So we were looking at a plough based system, a minimum tillage system and a strip tillage system. And we had different row spacings within those systems and we wanted to look at the best combinations for those. We also looked at different seed rates as well and we wanted to see if there was a, a best case scenario whether you could go to a lower seed rate with a different row spacing or you may need a higher seed rate with different spacing. Um, from what we found with the information was basically you could almost go with different seed rates depending on uh, pigeon damage for example but between the lower seed rates where there's a 10 or a 60 seeds we found generally there isn't much difference between the yield of the crop. The only problem we did find that if there was a pigeon damage at the early time of the year then a lower seed rate you you lost out on that so you in areas where there's a lot of pigeon damage you you should really go to a higher seed rate but all in all um, the row widths especially, we saw no difference. Um, the only problem we did see where there's a high, high yield potential with, for a crop that the wider row width almost had a negative impact due to the fact that you had a lot more leaf and biomass, so that had reduced the yield overall. But in general, you can sow at any seed rate um, at varying row spacings and there really won't be much difference. So that's really the, the idea of the project. We all, do also look at that in conjunction with nitrogen rates as well and we hope to be able to say, depending on the different systems, what nitrogen rates and seed rates and row spacing you should be using. So that's basically the idea of the project. So, so the take home message really is that oilseed rape has a great potential to recover no matter what situation it's sown in without that having any negative effect on the yield.